Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory, 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 hallelujah.
Oh, Father, Lord, I bless your holy name. Jehovah God, I adore you, O oh God. You are worthy to be praised, O oh God. Father, Lord, we lift you high. I worship you. I honor you. I lift you high. I magnify your holy name. You are worthy. You are precious. You are wonderful. You are marvelous. You are beautiful, O oh Lord. There is none like you, O oh God. You are you are great and mighty God. Father, Lord, there is none like you, O oh God. You hold the palm. You hold the whole world in the palm of your hands, Father, Lord. You are the beginning. You are the end. You know the beginning from the end, O oh God. And no one knows your beginning, O oh God. You are everlasting and everlasting. Father, Lord Almighty, you are the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Jehovah God, we give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you adoration. Mighty King of glory, be exalted, Lord, forever. In the name of Jesus. Mighty Lord, I thank you, God, for this day, this hour, this moment, that we are about to share your word, O God. My Lord, I pray, King of glory, that you use me, O Lord, and mold me as a pot of clay in the name of Jesus. Father, use my tongue, O God, and use it to speak out your word, the word of life. Let it come forth with power and it's with precision in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, I, that so much so that even the speaker and the hearers shall all benefit and we shall all never be the same again in Jesus' name. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray, King of glory, as you draw men onto this platform, Lord, I pray, Father, Lord, that you will meet their needs at the point of, the, of their needs, in, meet them at the point of their needs in Jesus' name. No one will leave this platform empty-handed. Oh, Jehovah God, I thank you. I welcome you, Holy Spirit of the living God. I reverence you. Take charge of the atmosphere in the name of Jesus. I sanctify this atmosphere. I sanctify this platform. Holy Basin Calabar. By the power in the blood of Jesus. I decree and I declare that the movement, that the movement of God will perf perf permeate and pervade the atmosphere in Jesus' name. Every demonic spirit every jet of darkness locking around i come against you in the name of jesus i render you useless i render you powerless i render you impotent i destroy you i destroy your works right here on this platform in the name of Jesus, I bind you right now and I cast you away into the bottomless pit in Jesus' name. I decree and I declare holy basin calabasia that only the will of God shall permeate in this place today in Jesus' name. I, st I station the angels of the living God at every hook and corner of this platform in the name of Jesus. Holy basin calabasia, Father, have your way, oh God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen, amen, amen. In Jesus' name, amen. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I welcome you all to, to this platform today. This platform, right this minute, as I'm uh, sharing the word of God, is Jesus Christ is my message, prophetic ministry. That is the platform we are in right now. We have been transformed into that a uh, 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 mountain on the mountain of Jesus Christ is my message prophetic ministry and I welcome you all that have joined me thank you Pastor Ola thank you uh, everybody Past Pastor um, Sister Ogechi thank you everyone as you join me I I I know and I'm telling you that we all shall be blessed here today in Jesus name please share 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 the program you all know my name is Evangelist Esther Olai Kadia. I welcome you all once again. Please share, share, share in the name of Jesus. The title of what we will be talking about this moment, the word of God that God wants me to share with us, including, including myself, is who you follow determines where you will reach. Who you follow determines where you will reach. It determines your altitude. It, it determines how far you will go. Who you follow determines where you will reach and let me tell you as do you we don't we are not born with all knowledge we grow and we learn we mingle we mix with people we meet people and we learn as we grow so but who are we mixing with who are we following who are the people that we have allowed into our space to show us or to teach us or to 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 um rub off on us what they have 
you know gotten along the line as they grow who are the people that we have connected with who are the people we look up to who are the people that we want to emulate who you follow determines how far you will reach, how far you will go, how high, how big you will be. Hallelujah. But first of all, let me start. I promise you this is not going to be a long ministration. It's just going to be straight to the point. That's why I'm ministering right now in my car because I have another ministration where I'm going. So I'm just going to go straight to the point. First of all, I want to tell you who you do not follow. Those that you need, don't need to follow. Those that cancel it on your list that know. I'm not going with this. I'm not following this. I'm not going in this direction. Amen. First of all, do not follow a rebel. Somebody that is in rebellion, that is always fighting, always against. The person is always destructive, always, you know, willing to destroy, to uproot, to, 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 to destroy, to, 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 to lead people astray. Do not follow such. You do not. I welcome you, Pastor Ayuba Michael. Thank you. Welcome, welcome, welcome to this platform. God bless you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, who you follow determines where you reach. Do not follow a rebel. A rebel will teach you to be a rebel. A rebel will teach you to fight. A rebel will teach you to go against. Rebel do not agree. When everybody are agreeing on something, they are the one that will disagree to disrupt. They are the one that will destroy, that will dismantle every foundation that people are laying. Do not make a rebel your foundation, your, 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 the person to follow. Amen. Do not follow a failure. You will know a failure. A failure is somebody you will see. You will see them and you will see them uh, always fail. You will see them fall all the time. I, I Don't mix it up. I know that the word of God says that no matter how many times a man falls, as long as he rises up again, he can still make it. Because each failure is a lesson to success. But then, there are some people that they are just addicted to failure. Their mind is not in what they are doing. They are not keen on what they are doing. They are not imbibing the word of God. They are not following the right direction. They don't care. They don't care if they make it or not. They are okay in sitting down in one place. They are okay in, in fact, you're not giving it a try at all such people you don't even see them get up and give things a trial and give success a trial those people give up easily they are always failing they do not put into they do not put into what they are doing they don't put in their mind they don't put in their senses they don't put in their knowledge they don't research they do not do all those things they are tend to fail don't follow such people. Don't follow losers. People that are losers. You will see them in anything they put their hands upon, they will lose. They lose and they're always complaining. They are complainants. They will lose and they will complain. They will lose, they will complain. They are discouragers. They will discourage you yourself from marching forward. They will tell you they have turned on, uh, gone on that route you're going. It's a failure and don't go. Meanwhile, for you, it may be a success. Meanwhile, they, they, they might not have put in enough that they ought to have put. So do not follow someone that is always a loser. Anything they, 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 anything they put their hand in, they, if you bring them into the fold, if you join them to your business uh, 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 focus, they will mess it up for you. They are losers. All they want is to cheat. They are good at cheating and cutting short the route to get to where they are going, doing 419. They are losers, but do not follow such. Those are not ones that you should follow. Beware of who you follow. Do not follow one with no goal. They do not have a direction. They don't know where they are even going. They don't even know where they are facing. Imagine somebody gets out of the house, enter into your car, you start your car, you start driving, but you don't know where you're going. I mean, <laughs> how would you even figure that out? How would you even describe that? You, someone that gets into the car, start the car, and began to move, but they don't know where they're going. They have no destination. They have no goal. You can't follow people like that. People like that will lead you to a dead end. They always end up in a dead end, in a pit. Don't follow them. They have no goal. They have no, no aspiration. They have nothing to look forward to. They, they, they are not planting, so not, not to talk of reaping. It is when you plant that you reap. They are not planting nothing. They have no seed in them. It's not that God has not given them seed to plant, but they are not making use of that seed. Rather, they will let that seed die on a dry land instead of planting the seed. They have no weird. They have no goal. They have no focus. They are not focusing on anything. If you see such people, even in a position of success, be watchful. Do not say because maybe their fathers or their mentors or somebody has placed them there, but it's just temporal. They won't even excel. 
People like that don't excel when they have opportunities and are placed in opportunities. They don't excel. They fall at the end of the day. So if you say because they are in a very uh, prominent position, you want to follow them, take heed because you might follow them into destruction. Then we may lead you into destruction because they are a certain level does not mean that that's the ultimate for you. It doesn't mean that they are, are going to ascend from there. They can, might just be there and that there is temporal. Their there is just being stuck. That's not your own goal. So do not follow people that have no goal. Do not follow one with no ambition. One that is lazy. It's so, it, it, let me read the word of God to you regarding laziness. What You, you can't follow someone that is lazy. They always procrastinate. Lazy people procrastinate. Amen? The word of God says in Proverbs 10.4, it says, A lazy hands make for poverty, but diligent hands bring wealth. A lazy hand, somebody that when everybody is waking up in the morning at 6 a.m., 5 a.m. to prepare for work or to go and look for a job, if they have no job, they are still sleeping. They are still on their, on their bed, laying down, sleeping, deep in sleep. That's all they know how to do. They sleep all day long and they grumble all day long. Those are lazy people. They grumble at every little difficulty, every little challenge. They grumble. They give up. They are lazy. They are not willing to work. Even if you take them to a place of work, they, they will mess it up. They are not, they won't do their work. They won't go to work in time, in time. They will be late and then they will mess it up. They have no ideas to add to that job. Nothing to bring to the table. They are lazy. You can't follow such people. The word of God also says concerning laziness. Let me read another part in the Bible. Proverbs 12, 24. It says, diligent hands will roll, but laziness hangs in forced labor. A diligent hands will rule. When you are one that is diligent with your hands, when you are not lazy, when you are willing to walk, you are willing to get off that couch, that bed, mm -hmm. and get a job. You are putting your heart into that job. It may not be your job at the time you get that job. It may be somebody else's employment that they employed you. But you do it diligently. You perform it well like it is your own. I kid you not, God will give you yours one day very soon. Dude, I'm telling you, God will give you yours very soon. You are not lazy. You are bringing ideas to the table. You are telling the owner of the job new ways to do stuff. You are thinking about it. You are, you are, you are going through your mind and you are seeking God to lead you to put forth, you know, contribute to this job. You, the employer, the owner of the job will notice it and will elevate you. And I kid you not, not only elevate you, you will get you to your own place where you will own it as well. Do not, I can't, I say it again, do not follow a lazy person. They procrastinate, they prolong, they are sluggish in their work. Another part of the Bible says in Proverbs 20 verse 4, it says a sluggard does not plow in season. When everybody is planting, they are not planting. So at harvest time, they look for, they look but find nothing. They are not planting. When everybody is busy planting, their seed in the soil, they are working, they are getting up in the morning, they are going to work, they are finding means of living, they are providing for their family, they are looking for something to do with their hands, their hands to be diligent, they want their hands to be diligent, a lazy person, a sluggard, do not plant in season, he's not going out to look for a job, he's not going out to look for anything to do, he's not going out to improve himself, he's not even going to school to improve their ed education, nothing, they are just in one position, the Bible is saying that they do not plant in season, and when harvest come, they find nothing, there's nothing for them, they end up being beggars. They will beg those that are diligent to eat. They will beg those that are diligent to feed their family, to pay their rent, to, to, to provide food from the table, to care for their family. They will beg another one, another person to be able to survive. That is not your portion. You don't want to follow such in the name of Jesus. God said, even in Proverbs 6, he said, you sluggard, go to the ant. You sluggard, consider his ways and be wise. The ways of the ants, ants are always coordinated. They are always willing to walk. Ants, if you study ants, if you go to their hive, where they have their hives, and just sit back, put, put, pitch a camera on them for 24 hours and go back and look at the, 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 the camera, you will see that slug, the ants are very coordinated. You will think they are human beings. They, 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 they are, we have the workers, we have the king, the queen, we have the, the laborers, we have the gate bearers in there, in their hole, and they all 
do it diligently or in a very coordinated orderly manner like soldiers god is and it and these are ants not human being god is saying to a lazy person go and look at the ants and learn a lesson from them hallelujah so you don't want to follow a lazy person you don't want to follow one that procrastinate all the time you don't want to follow somebody that is unfaithful on fear in their dealings with human being when they say fear god God de de described Abraham as a fear person. A fear person is somebody that is fear, that fear God. Somebody that is fear in judgment. Treat people well. Mm -hmm. Do well to people. That's the heart of people in their heart. And when you follow someone that is on fear, this is somebody that is wicked. Somebody that does not care for human beings. That does not care for God. Somebody that does not, that believes is all and all. Somebody that's very proud. Do not follow such people. Do you don't want to emulate anything from them? You don't. They are on fear. They are unfaithful. Such people, where you, they, such people, you find them even unfaithful to their to their uh, wife, to their family. They are unfaithful. They are unfaithful to God. God don't want you to follow such people. Do not follow somebody that cannot be a role model. You need a role model in your life. You need someone that you can point to, and that person should be above. You can't follow. A role model that is beneath you. I mean, a manager cannot make a, 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 a cleaner his own role model. Amen. So follow somebody that is successful in their dealings, in their ways, and can be a role model to you. So that you can be a role model to people coming behind you. So you need somebody that can be a role model that most importantly follow people with faith. Follow a believer. Hallelujah. Follow somebody that has God in them, the heart of God in them, that know this Christ, that are Christ followers. That is the foundation. That is the beginning. That is the kind of people God wants you to emulate. That is the kind of people God wants you to follow. The person you follow determines how far you will go. Let me give you some examples in the Bible. Look at the life of Lot. You know a lot in the Bible. When God called Abraham out of uh, oh, where he was staying at with his family and told him to go to a certain land that we give him and make him rich and establish him and make him millionaires and make his generation uh, his generation uh, uh, blessings, even unto to generations to come. This promise was for Abraham. But look at what happened. When Abraham was moving, Lot went with him. Lot was his nephew. Lot went with Abraham. And because Lot went with Abraham, guess what? Lot was blessed. He went with him. He looked up to Abraham. He was following the precepts of Abraham. He was following the footsteps of Abraham. When Abraham plants, he will plant. When Abraham sow, he will sow. When Abraham is reaping, he's also reaping bountifully because he made Abraham is role model. He followed Abraham. Therefore, he partook of the blessings. It rubbed off on him. The anointing of blessing rubbed off on him. Hallelujah. You don't want the anointing of a failure to rub on you. You want the anointing of a success person, a successful person. A, a person that has been there and done that. That has gone through it and through it all. They made it all the way up. That is the kind of person you want to follow. Amen. So, Abraham, um, a lot was one. Look at the uh, life of Ruth. Ruth followed, um, Ruth followed um, Naomi. She followed Naomi. She was supposed to go back. The other wife went back. The other wife was not interested in going any further at a point. But Ruth followed Naomi. She said, your people will be my people. Your God shall be my God. I look up to you. If you read through the words that are there, you will see that he's saying, that, now the Ruth is actually telling Naomi, that your God will be my God. Your God will be my God. Your people will be my people. Hallelujah. Your God will be my God. Your people will be my people. Your, whatever, wherever you go, I will go. Amen. Your, I, will, I, I accept you. I accept your God because I look up to you. You could see that Ruth looks up to um, Naomi. And what happened? We saw that Ruth was highly blessed. She Ruth became the lineage of Jesus Christ. Amen. So we have many, many examples of people that follow one another. Look at the apostles, for instance. The apostles followed Christ and they began to do exploits for Jesus. Amen. So following Jesus, again, I say, is the ultimate. Following Jesus is the ultimate. 
following jesus is the ultimate you don't want to miss that you don't want to mess that up you don't want to miss the glorious 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 home that is pointing to you that you will be at the end because i always say it this world is temporal the way we go is eternal and when you follow christ you will receive eternal life hallelujah so following christ again is the ultimate you need to follow you need to go you need to follow the right people so that you don't miss it so that you can reach your goal again i say who you follow determines how high and how far you will go amen now if you follow the right people like i said it will enable you what will it enable you to do what are the the good things what are the positive things that comes out out of following the right people it will en enable you and I to become what Jesus has ordained us to be and to fulfill our destiny. It will allow you and I to become who Christ wants us to be and, and fulfill our destiny. Everybody that's, been, that's born on this in this life has a destiny. Everybody that was given back to in this life has a destiny. You have a destiny. You have a mandate. You have a calling. You have something that God wants you to do. There is something in your hands that God wants you to do. Everybody always has something in their hands that God is calling you to do. You have a mandate. You have a destiny. Everybody. Nobody came to earth by mistake. Even those that are born out of marriage. It's not a mistake to God. Though. I'm telling you. They all have mandates. They all have destinies. They all have um, um, uh, callings. What is your calling? How do you get there? It is through who you follow. You have to follow right so that you can reach your goal, so that you can fulfill your destiny. So who you follow determines how far you will go. Now, how do you know who to follow? How do you know who to follow? I've already explained to you who you do not follow. How do you know who to follow? One, the person must be a follower of Christ. Bible reading person. Because the more they read the Bible, the more they have the knowledge of Christ. And the more you have the knowledge of Christ, the more you have um, wisdom and understanding. Even to propel and forge ahead in life. You need wisdom, understanding. Even ideas come from following Christ. People that have been inventors, that has invented things in this world, they all got it by inspiration. And what inspiration? Inspiration of God. When you follow God-fearing people, when you follow Christ, when you follow people that put God first, that honor God first, that have the fear of God in their life, and you, are, are, you see them make it, know that that is the secret of their success. And when you follow them and emulate them, God will visit you. God will make you an inventor. When you invent, you will be the richest. When you invent, you will, be, you, you, will, you, will, you, will, you will feed nations. Because God with great ideas, what no man, no other man has known or has invented, God will put it in your mind or in your head. Because you are following a God-fearing person and therefore you too, you are following this God. You are emulating the way they are worshipping their God and putting God forth. You are emulating it. God will put you first too. God will come unto you. He will reveal himself to you and he will make you be to, 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 to have ideas. Let me quickly read to you the book of Hebrews 13. I want to read to you the book of Hebrews 13. It says, Remember your leaders, those who spoke to you the word of God. Consider the outcome of their ways of life. Consider that, that is saying to you, consider their success. Those that has brought you this far, those that have spoken to you the word of God, how has their lives been in their personal life, in their marriage, have they been successful? Or training their children, have they been successful? In whatever they are doing, are they successful? Look at them. Take a good look. Look closely at their lives. Those who spoke to you the word of God, consider the outcome of their ways. That is why it's, that is what I'm saying to you. Look closely at their life. You will see that it's been a source. And it says, and initiate their faith. Initiate their faith. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Those that have 
show, shown you Christ. Those that has pointed the way to the cross to you. And those that you see that as they are following this Christ, they are successful. In their business, financially, health-wise, in everything, they are successful. Success is not only in money. It could even be in your health. When you are in perfect health, you are successful. But at the same time, you also need financial breakthroughs. So as they pursue Christ, you see that they are pursuing breakthrough is also over, overtaking them breakthrough increase enlargement multiplication of blessings when you look at their life and it's a success all rounder those are the people to follow follow them those are their examples god says look closely at them again i tell you that you need to do this to be able to be a success in all that you do follow keenly and observe follow them keenly and observe their ways of life I've observed them in everything they do in their going in and going out observe them do not be fooled do not be fooled do not be fooled by fakeness let them let your your observation let it be keen and let you will be with clear mind so you can make the right judgment of whether you should follow them or not the book of proverbs 20 12 says that ears that hear and eyes that see the lord made them both so use your eyes to see use your ears to hear follow them keenly observe them keenly are they doing the will of god is this 419 is this to the answer is this fake they are successful ministers of god are they going are they worshiping god in spirit and in truth or they are false pastors they are fake pre, uh, 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 prophets who are they how did they make it out are they successful is their success from god look keenly follow their ways of life observe and pray about it amen prayer is the most important you have to pray Pray that God should show you who they are. Pray that God should show you their personal life. Pray to God that God should show you who, who what, what they are doing in their hideout, in their closet. Pray and fast that is this somebody that is what emulating or is this fake? Pray to God and fast. Ask God, is this the person you want me to follow so that I can fulfill my destiny? You need to pray about it. Prayer is the key to all this. Prayer, we can, I cannot overflog the issue of prayer. I cannot overstate the issue of prayer when you're deciding on who to follow. Hallelujah. Again, I say to you, uh, uh, diligent, find and diligently apply what you are learning into your life. What you have learned from all this. When God gives you the go ahead that this is the right person to follow what you have learned from them apply it do not die as an imitator when you are following them you are imitating them fine you ought to imitate them as you follow them but as you go to apply it let me read to you the book of Acts 4 13 it says when they saw the courage of Peter and John and realized that they were unschooled ordinary men they were astonished and they took notes that this man had been with christ they took note that peter and john had been with christ what they learned from jesus they applied it the people that was watching them they took note after peter healed the man at the beautiful gate people knew that these were men that followed christ they are emulating christ they are doing the work of christ they are doing what christ did they are imitators and now that Christ is gone, they are now in their position and doing it and even doing greater. Hallelujah. So people know, people watched. Okay. John 12, 26 says, whosoever serves, who's, God, Jesus Christ is saying to his, his disciples here. He said, whosoever serves me must follow me. And where I am, my servant also will be. My father will honor the ones who serve me. So when we follow people, we follow them to retain the honor that they have. So that's another reason why you follow people. When you follow people, you, you follow these people to and retain the honor that they also have. 
you step into that position of honor they are you are following somebody that is a position of honor in a very very lucrative position a person of affluence and influence a person that is after that his heart is after god he has the heart of god a person that fears god and they, they are very versatile when you follow such people and imitate them god will make you and transform you and trans and, and, and transform you translate you into that position of honor you share the same honor because guess what this uh, pastor joshua selman used to preach it a lot the the importance of connection connecting with the right people the importance of connection who are in your inner circle who are in your immediate circle that are great that people are traveling from far and near to come and connect with they are there look for them open your eyes and connect with them and as you connect with them you share in their honor because they bring you out to the limelight they showcase the gifts that god has for you the bible says that he has given us gifts that will make us stand before mighty men that will make us stand before rulers we make us sit with with uh, presidents and governors of nations and queens and kings is in it in each and every one of us so but and when you follow and emulate people that are of this position that know god you know fear god are doing the will of god and at the same time they are very hard working they are not lazy they are very hard working they put their hands to work diligently they sow when it's supposed to be sold and they reap when it's supposed to be when the, 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 the harvest come when you follow such they showcase you they showcase you they they step onto the to, to the to the limelight with you be by their side because you are following them and as people recognize them they recognize you and as you grow and grow people will recognize you and know that you are connected to them and they will accept you and they will invite you and they will bless your life and you will grow and you in turn make sure you are a blessing to those coming behind hallelujah make sure your life is some is somewhat that so, somebody else will emulate somebody else will want to follow amen that is the word of god he said god is saying jesus is saying whosoever serves me must follow me and where i am my servant also will be my father will honor the one who serves me so god we as god honors christ we that are followers of christ god honors us as well because we are followers of christ because we are diligent in our ways because we love jesus and we are striving to be like him so God who honored Christ will also honor us. Amen. So I pray that all of us will follow Christ and do his will in Jesus' name. Again, I say unto you <coughs> that following someone is very paramount to success. It is the key to your to your success. It is the key to get to where you are. Listen, he said, by imitating. It is imitation that brings out originality. When you imitate successful people, it brings out or, or originality in you. The originality in you, it will bring it out. That gift that God has placed in your hand, it will manifest and bring you out. You will be celebrated. Do not be an imitator all your life. Do not just follow, 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 follow all your life. Follow with a goal to stand by yourself. To follow, you must have a goal. What are your goals? You must have a goal. This is my goal in life. At a very young age, decide on your goal. I want to be a president. That is a goal. I want to be a managing director of a big company. That is a goal. I want to be a successful person. That is a goal. Be a goal seeker. Be a goal. Have be, be goal oriented. Have a goal in mind. This is my focus. This is my mission. This is where I'm going. This is how I want to be. I want to be a doctor. I want to be a successful um, a nurse. I want to be an architect. I want to be a successful counselor. I want to be a, a minister. I want to be... You have a goal. And then when you have a goal, you select who you're going to follow and follow all these principles that I have enumerated for you. And you shall be a success in the name of Jesus. Always strive for excellence. Always, always, always strive for excellence. Excellence is very important in, as you pursue your goal. Excellence is very important as you pursue your goal. Again, when you, when you, when you, when you, when you uh, perform excellently, God will bless you. 
when you strive for excellency, you will reach your goal. When you strive for excellency, you will get to where you need to be because God will be with you and God will lift up your hand and you will go and you will be excellent. The book of um the spirit, the book of Luke, I um Luke 16 9 says that but someone who walk in an excellent spirit but someone who works in a spirit if excellence we learn to even the small things god says that a man or woman who is faithful in little will be entrusted with much you find that in the book of luke um luke um you find that in the book of luke luke um 16 i think 16 um eight or so you find that in the book of luke 16 that the man who works in excellence will excel in all things amen so be excellent be excellent in everything you do work with excellence focus on excellence strive to be excellent mm -hmm. work with people that you see them as excel excel they excel in all things work with them those are the people you want to emulate those are the people you want to work with those are the people you want to uh, strive to be amen hallelujah i will get the very the, the bible verse for you now luke 16 10 whoever can be trusted with very little can also be trusted with much and whosoever is dishonest with very little will be we also be dishonest with much amen so god is saying to you that you should be trusted with a lot of things god wants to entrust in your hands a lot and lots and lot of things as you strive to be excellent as you strive to be good as you strive to be to excel in whatever you are laying your hands upon so god will continue to be with you he will continue to entrust more into your hands as you are diligent and faithful in one god will entrust more into your hands in jesus name continue to forge ahead continue to diligently make sure you follow the right people you follow the right leader follow the right emulate the right people emulate the right person with all these attributes i've explained it is what will get you to where you're going it is what will help you get to your fulfill your destiny it is what will help you fulfill your mandate when you follow the right people do not follow the right the wrong people do not measure um um, um greatness by what you are seeing alone go in debt search deep ask god to show you in prayers about this person that you want to follow that that i want to be like him my goal is to be a success in this field like him but is this the right person god will show it to you he will reveal the kind of person he is to you and when you diligently seek the lord in the name of jesus and as you go forth god will continue to entrust in your hands greater things he said what you have in your hands he will bless it there is something in your hands that god is willing to bless if you go about it in the right channel if you follow the right people when you follow the wrong people they bring you down when you follow the right people they lift you up they are builders the right people are builders in your life you need builders around you you need to look up to someone that will hold your hand and lift you up you don't want someone that will push you down you don't want someone that is still struggling no you want someone that is there and will help you up amen and god will help us as we do this in jesus name amen amen in jesus name amen thank you thank you thank you all for watching i pray that as you go forth god will bless your ways this week this week shall be a, a way a, a great blessing unto you it shall be a channel of blessing this week unto each and every one of you in the name of jesus god will enthrone you you will take dominion over your territories this week in the name of jesus god will connect you with the right person that you need to follow that you need to look up to that you need to emulate in the name of jesus god will take away every Every uh, uh, failure, lazy people out of your sight. God will take away people that are pretenders, hypocrites. He will take them away, far away from you. He will separate you from them in the name of Jesus. You will not be confused. You will not be mixed up in the wrong crowd in the name of Jesus. God will open your inner eyes to see what you ought to see so you can make a good decision, a divine decision in the name of Jesus. And as you go forth, God will lift you up in Jesus. The helpers of destinies will locate you in the mighty name of jesus you shall not be a failure story you shall be a success story in the name of jesus in jesus mighty name go forth and do exploits for the lord and come back with great testimonies in jesus mighty name i pray amen 
amen amen in jesus name amen hallelujah 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 glory be to god thank you jesus i thank you all for watching thank you all for staying with me and um pray hopefully i'll see you again sometime next week amen remain blessed i love you but christ loves you more hallelujah amen <music>